Hey guys. Hey guys. It's Blended and Bold, aka the Electric Cupboard on Facebook. Yep, we're back with another alkaline cooking video for you. This is going to be a and really good comfort food. Yes, if you remember with your grandmother how to make, what is it called again? Uh, how are we naming it? Potato soup. Potato soup. If you remember how your grandmother made that, get ready for your taste buds to get a light, this nice little This is a really tingle. creamy, thick and creamy potato soup. Yes, it is. And it's going to be chunky. And, and this is freestyle, so we're doing it off the top of the dome. All right, so we want to start off. You're going to need two pans. You get your frying pan going and a big pot going. Yeah, I'm going to add some uh, some, oh, some oil. Yeah, I've got a little bit more oil. Make sure you got enough oil for your butternut squash. I'll say about a tablespoon. Yep, or two. Yeah. yeah. And then we're going to add the butternut squash. Yes, we are. Here we go. And that's eight cups. Of butternut squash chopped. Yes. Now, you don't want to cook this all the way. You just want to cook it until it is... About halfway. Halfway, about halfway done. To this butternut squash, we're going to add a teaspoon of sea salt. Alright, here's a teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. Give it a nice little stir. Now we're going to add a fourth a teaspoon of sage. You can get this out. Right to your butternut squash. Then we're going to add a fourth a teaspoon of cayenne. Okay. Give that a stir too. And we're going to keep an eye on these and let them cook. A separate pan over here while he's cooking that. So you got you got to get that cooking. Now you're going to start some. Get your onions going. And these are both on medium high heat. You need about a tablespoon of oil. Two medium onions in there. Oh yeah, listen to that. Okay. Alright, to your onions, you're gonna add half a teaspoon of sea salt, a couple of dashes of ginger, just and a half a teaspoon of onion powder. And then stir it in real good. Let them let them marinate. Let them uh, cook up a little bit till they're translucent. Okay, well, while you got your onions and your butternut squash cooking, uh, we're gonna we're gonna make some hemp milk. So now, while these two are cooking, let's get this hemp milk made. Thank you, honey. You're to get you a little mixer, we're gonna need a thicker hemp milk. So to make it thicker, we're gonna add. More hemp seeds than we normally would. You got the measuring spoon? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to add three tablespoons of hemp more. seeds. Cool. We're going to make two cups of hemp milk, but we're going to start off with only a cup of water in here to make sure the hemp seeds get blended up well before we add the rest of the water. All right, let's get these blended up real quick. You know, I was thinking about something earlier today, guys. I want to apologize for our videos being longer and not really short. So, you know, you usually got to wait till you get home. And you can't, you don't always have time to watch it on your lunch break. But our videos, we keep it real and unscripted. Yes. Now we're going to put the rest of the milk in here. We're only doing two ounces. Or, I mean, two cups. <laughs> so I'm filling it up to the max fill line, which is 16 ounces, guys. Okay. I'm going to put the top back on there. Nice Give stir. these onions a little stir. Make and sure they're not sticking. I'm going to pulse it again. Go ahead. That should do it. Alright, we'll get this out the way and leave our hemp milk here. Yeah, people get angry because they're long, but we keep it real with y'all. We consider y'all part of the family, so... We're going to keep everything unscripted. We're going to keep it raw. Because this is how we cook when we're in the kitchen. That's how we're able to create the dishes that you see on YouTube. Because exactly. we cook together. All right, these onions are looking pretty good down here. Yeah. We'll let them cook a little bit more. Squash looking pretty fine. We're going to let these both cook up a little bit more until they're until this is about halfway cooked. Uh, do not caramelize these. We're only going to cook them for about another three more minutes. Yes. 
Be right back. Okay, Alright guys, the butternut squash is still cooking over there, but now the onions are ready for the next part. You see how they look right now? They're not quite caramelized yet, but they are almost. So now it's time to move on to the next step. We're going to add a tablespoon of oil. And that's grapeseed oil that we're using, guys. I don't have my fourth cup measuring cup handy right now, so we're going to use four tablespoons. For all of you that don't know, that four tablespoons is a fourth a cup. In case you uh, can't find yours, this is a two teaspoon measuring spoon. Alright, so we're going to start stirring in this flour real good here. All right, now get your hemp milk if you can get it open. Okay. I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay, babe. I'm putting the whole muscle on it. Start dumping your hemp milk in here. All right, so now we're going to start mixing in this hemp milk in with the potatoes, or the onions, not the potatoes. Okay, keep mixing. We're going to mix until this, this thickens up real nice. Now, once their squash is done over here, you're going to set it aside and move it off the heat. And you heat up just a little bit. Not much. There they go. Yep, there right, they go. The, all right, the squash is done to where we want it. We don't want it all the way cooked, so you're going to move it to the side now. It's a little more than halfway cooked. All right, back over here. There we go, people. Move it off the heat. While, this, while you're stirring this, you want to add in a teaspoon of sea salt. If you have a hard time getting it thickened, you just add just a, about a teaspoon of flour at a time. But you need to give it time. It will thicken. Yep. Okay, what else? Yeah. Alright, so what would you put in there? Oh, a teaspoon of sea salt. Yep. teaspoon of oregano. All right. Now we're going to add half a teaspoon of sage. Half a teaspoon of sage. Coming right up. Mm -hmm. And then while he's getting that teaspoon of sage, we're going to add a dash of clove. Half a teaspoon of sage. Add two more teaspoons of flour in here, guys. Here it's go. thickening a little, but go two ahead. Two tablespoons. There we go. That should do it. Like I said, this is a freestyle recipe, guys, so you're watching through most of the process. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're going to add a couple, dash of couple dashes of ginger. All right, and then we're going to add another pinch of cayenne. A pinch. See, mm -hmm. I got big fingers, so. Look at that thickening up, guys. You see that? Let's, let's see here. Look at that. There's a, a pinch. pinch. And then a teaspoon of onion powder. A teaspoon of onion powder. Mm-hmm. 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 Two teaspoons of agave. Now it's okay if this gets too thick, guys, because we're going to be adding more water. Yep. Two teaspoons? Yep. Alright. One. Mm. Two. Oh. I think you got some on your knuckle. You got it. There you go. We all gravy. Hi, honey. Okay, now that you got that all nice and thick and ready to go, now we're going to transfer this pot over here and we're going to put the uh, butternut squash in it. Alright, turn it up to what, four? Just turn it on low, put it on low for now, uh, like a three, medium low. Alright, medium low, and then yep. we're going to transfer the squash in there. Okay, okay. Now we got, a, we got the soup over here, the stuff we was mixing, the creamy onion mixture, and now you got to transfer your butternut squash in a pan. Get you in a little bit closer here. Let y'all see what's going on. Alright, we're going to mix the butternut squash with our creamy mixture here. Alright, so now we're going to add water. We're going to start with two cups because you guys want measurements, so normally I just start dumping it in. Alright, All right, we're going to fold it in because you don't want to break up your squash. Now you can turn your heat up. Bring it up to a medium high. Put in your two cups of water. There you go. And, and start fold, fold. folding. We're going to add some our green, green onion. onion and not the rubber band, babe. Oh, my bad. 
Let we me go. feel the consistency of it right now. Okay. It it's feeling real nice. Is it workable? Yeah, we're gonna let it cook down a little bit, guys. Look at look at my stove. Oh. Okay, so now we're gonna let this cook for five minutes and we'll be right back. Hi right, guys. Been about five minutes. Just keep stirring. Now you're gonna turn your heat down to about um, medium, medium low. Like I got it on mine on a, between a two and a three. And we need to let it cook for a little bit, okay? Um, stir also, it per periodically. Yeah. Right now it is, hold on babe. It, um, it's perfect, you see that? Nice and thick. The, the taste is perfect, it doesn't need no more seasonings. If it starts to get too thick on you in the next 10 minutes, you're gonna just add a little bit of water at a time. Basically, we're cooking it until the butternut squash is finished cooking, which won't take long. No. We're gonna put a lid on it and let it cook for another 10 minutes. And every now and again, I want you to stir it. All right, guys, it's been 10 minutes. We're gonna check on our soup. Where's my spoon? Oh, there, it is. there you go, babe. Is it sticking? Nope, here, take that. Now is when you want to test a piece of butternut squash and see if it's nice and tender. We're not going to need to add no more water and no more seasoning to this. We already tasted it before we started. We put the lid on it, so this should be good. And this meal should only take you 20 to 30 minutes with preparation of all the vegetables and everything to make. This is another easy meal. Oh, you got a free hand spoon? Free hand spoon? Yeah, I'm going to give this... Oh, that's bubbly too, baby. You gotta watch all right, it so I'm going to let it cool. All right, go ahead, give it a try, see what you think. I think it tastes good. Let me know if you think it needs anything. I'm Don't get, burn your lips off. I'm gonna get everything, I'm gonna get onion, scallion, all that. Make mm. sure the uh, butternut squash cooked all the way to your liking. Oh, ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. It's a little hot, so. Oh yeah, uh-huh. It's good? All right, mm. let's turn this heat down. Look at that, guys. This is how it should be looking. Hopefully, this has all been in focus. Look at that. See, nice and thick. This all is exactly creaminess. what you want. Yeah. And don't forget the dinner rolls with it. We no. got a video we're working on right in the middle of this. So if you see this recipe, look for this recipe because we're making the dinner rolls right now. You know what I'm saying? If you... This is not, this is you, was usually made by my grandmother in the winter time. You know, because us kids be all hounding her and she made something real quick. I know it's not winter, but we but, all need comfort food once in a while. But if it's just you and your wife or you and your husband, you don't feel like breaking over the pots and pans, you don't feel like opening up a cookbook, whatever, what have you. You know this, what? Put this together. Yes. You know what? Give me just five more minutes. Five more minutes? Yep. All right, let's put the top back on. I just took... A big piece of squash. Uh -huh. It needs to be a little bit more tender. All right. So, five, five more minutes, minutes, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys, we're back. It's been five minutes has passed. This soup should now be perfect. Mm. Ooh, Ooh look at that. Look at that. Show them the chunks in there. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Get me some of that. Onions. We're gonna... Here, you want me to put some in a bowl for you, baby? Mm -mm. Uh oh, it fell in the bowl anyway. This is my bowl. Oh my god. Mm. Mm -mm 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 mm. 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 And I'm a picky eater. That's on point. Okay, guys. This um, hubby tastes the soup. He loves it. Now we're going to serve up some dishes. This is definitely done. We only needed that extra five minutes. No other seasonings. No more water. None of that. So you want to serve up your soup. And I'm going to show you what you can top it with. I'm sure you can hear my dog in the background. He's ready to go out. All right, this one's a little full. All right, so now you got company over. Want to make your soup look nice. 
you know, make it look a little fancy maybe. Clean the edges. Take a little bit of that green onion, sprinkle it on top, just like so. And serve it up. There it is, uh, alkaline electric butternut squash soup. Oh, that's look good. Mm -hmm. Ooh. This is so good, guys. I promise. Oh, I promise you, you're gonna love this. This is the yes. best comfort food. You having a bad day? Have a nice big bowl of this with, with a, uh, an alkaline dinner roll. Dinner roll. Yep. Ooh, it's gonna taste so good. Going All right, guys. Um, I we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you thought of the video. Let yes. us know what you thought of the recipe. Down below will be links for all the ingredients we used. Um, what was I going to say here? Uh, yeah, uh, all of our uh, social media accounts are down below too. And uh, don't forget to share this. And to when you share our recipes, to make sure to tag us in it. Don't share the ingredients and the instructions, please. Thanks, yes. guys. Peace. See you in our next video. Bye.